Hello everyone, my name is Evra and I am a painter and a print designer from East London and I can't believe I'm saying this but ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Today I will be showing you my uh, drawing materials and some basics for sketching and drawing for beginners. So, I am going to start with my sketchbooks. Keeping a daily sketchbook uh, helps you to see and be present in the world. It improves your drawing abilities and observational skills. It encourages you to draw anytime you want. And you can make some unplanned creative discoveries, which I would call happy accidents. You can also uh, date your drawing so you can record your progress and artistic development. So, the sketchbooks. So, I keep like three different sizes of sketchbooks. Uh, one small like uh, like this one to carry it with me everywhere in your pocket or in your bag you can take it anywhere with you and you can demonstrate your ideas like it doesn't have to be perfect some portraits or whatever uh, I have mid-sized like this oh this one is a uh, good one, a uh, beast, like just 10 pages but they are so thick you can do any medium on this one. Look at this, it's like a, it's almost like a board, it's quite thick. I really like this. This one is for like shitty drafts and sketches, layouts. It's really like cheap, uh, thin paper. It is. It is a fox. This one is a big one and a grey one. So it's in mid shades. You can do highlights and shadows as well. I keep the big one more complex uh, exercises and more sophisticated drawings and paintings like for example one oh this one is okay yeah like this uh, I did this in acrylics this was uh, for a um, storybook yeah these are pretty much my sketchbooks now I will show you the pencils so if you are a beginner, I can recommend you a pencil set like this. These are quite affordable uh, graphite pencils. There's uh, six of them here. HB, B, 2B, 4B, 6B and 8B. It's pretty much everything you need to draw and sketch. I'm going to talk about pencils. HB. H stands for hardness. It is quite hard and pale. It's good for draft, drafting and sketching and researching the lines. The B ones, B stands for black. The higher the number, the darker it will be. So HB is the darkest and softest one. I also have these uh, big pencils like I will show you and compare so you can see like this is a standard one a standard size and this is a big one it's more like for big drawings it makes things easier for the fine details I prefer mechanical pencil like 05 classic mechanical pencil with 2B leads inside if your drawing looks pale, uh, you might want to check your pencil. It is probably HB or one of the H series. And uh, 
you may not be able to get the darker values uh, to add some dramatic effect to your drawings. Now erasers. One is a hard classical like this. This one I use for fine details. It's like a mechanical eraser. There are some finer ones. This one's a bit rough. And I use, of course, gummy eraser. This is good for blending and making some uh, shades lighter, white dabbing. It's uh, quite useful and you can shape it like this and use it to remove the details you don't want. You? Next. Now, I would like to show you how to use your arm, your wrist, your hands and your fingers uh, properly while you're drawing. First of all, I would like to show you the difference between the pencils slightly. This one is HB. This is the hardest one and the greyest one. This is good for your first drafts and sketches. And this one is HB. This is the blackest, darkest one and the softest one. HB. And this is good for your dramatic effects, like high contrast. But it's a bit hard to erase. This one is 2B and this is like mid-tones. This is darker than the HB, but lighter than the 8B. To draw some long straight lines, you should lock your fingers and hold your wrist and move your whole arm from the elbow, like this. The whole arm without moving your wrist. If you do it like this, with your wrist, they will be all wobbly. So you should go like this. They are fairly straight. If you do it like this, using your wrist, they will be... They will probably look like this. And for the short lines, you can use your wrist and for the small details, you can use your fingers like this. Quite free. Once again, hold your wrist, lock your fingers and move your whole arm. They will be fairly straight, but if you need perfectly straight lines for like technical drawings, you should use a ruler. Oh, this one is quite nice. And the shorter lines with your using your wrist, like this. Whoop. And the smallest ones you can do with your fingers. Right. The first things they teach in drawing classes is how to make simple objects look three-dimensional. So we are going to start with a sphere. You can use your HB pencil for your first draft. And then you can do your line working with the darker pencil to make it clean and nice. You can erase the things you don't want with the fine eraser. And I decided the light source will be up there. Shadow will be over here. I'm 
using my 2B right now and the shadow will cast over here make your corrections so good yes And here is our three-dimensional sphere. And now we are going to draw a cube, a classic. You can do your lines a bit messily, don't be scared. You can always fix it later. source will be on the right and I will shade accordingly it's more like a box I use 2B, 8B. If our light source is going to be here, the shadow will cast over here. And this is the darkest side of the cube. Here is our cube. Wow! You made it till the end! Thank you guys so much for watching my video and if you liked it, please go for it and like it for real. Click on like and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any kind of comments, any questions, anything to say at all you can comment down below and i assure you i will read every single comment to improve my videos because this is one of my first videos so it's very important what you're thinking so i will see you in my next video thank you bye